What's up with the YouTube? Oh my goodness. My hair is growing out like crazy. You know what that means. I'm back at the salon. And this time I decided to surprise Yoli. But really I'm just getting the same colors that I love to get. And it's like that auburn, fall looking, burgundy, reddish looking. When I had my waves, it was a vibe because it like really insinuated my freckles. Anyways, I'm gonna go get it dyed. When I grow out my hair, the biggest thing that irritates me the most is that they call it an ugly stage, but I don't want to put that on me because it ain't no ugly stages for anybody's hair, but it's at a stage where I can't do much with it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not able to style it how I want to and do all that jazz. So in the meantime, I'm just getting it dyed and it helps me feel a little bit better about myself and my growing out process. So I'm gonna go upstairs, see my homie Risha. Y'all already know Risha. She hooked it up every time uh, for my waves all my fresh cuts and then on top of that she painted the Tupac painting in my apartment I don't know if y'all have seen it some of y'all may have seen it if you've been on one of my lives but it is fire when I do the apartment tour y'all are definitely gonna see it but yeah let me go inside I probably have a couple minutes before my appointment starts I'll see y'all there I will say it is quite a journey to get to her salon this building is super old and look how much space it has It's quiet and eerie. Anyways, I looked at these lofts whenever I was planning on moving, you know, when I was selling my house. And the only thing is, is that it takes so long to get to the one elevator that they have. And that's not good for me and Champ. You know, Champ is already getting acclimated to being in an apartment and walking 15 minutes to get somewhere and imagine if I left something in the apartment and needed to get back to the house or back to my apartment after walking down to walk champ like talk about chaos but yeah if they installed a couple more elevators in here and a dog park I think that would be ideal what's going on What's up? Looking like a bag. Look at you, man. Sure. This is why I come here. Sage on deck. You know it's good vibes always. Y'all don't know this, but my barber is one of the freshest barbers in Dallas, okay? Let me show y'all what we working with today. Okay, we got the rude hat, you know what I'm saying? The stunners on, the Yeezy. One fit. We got some vintage, you know what I'm saying? I see you, the newbies. And look at those, those are exclusive. Let's see what we work, okay. You know? Yeah, just in case somebody talk stuff, fuck them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let's go. Wanting to get that burgundy color. That same color as the waves, you remember? It still was red. Red, yeah, red, whatever. Darker color. than it is, but still in the same family. Yeah. We, we gonna get you a nice little armor. You know what I'm saying? Do I need to take the chain off? No, no, keep it on. But I wonder if I should do like the lowest taper available. Low right here, like in length, or like low like as far as ball? The length, I think. Cause I'm trying to grow this back. Yeah, you trying to grow all of this and you just have like a little something right here. Yeah, so okay. I can grab when I'm getting braided, you know? Okay. <sighs> the back, I you think, I think low too. Probably. So you want, so you want like, all of this real bad. I want, I want this to grow, you know, cause like I want the braids to catch on my neck. So you going for Big Sean? I, mean, I don't want to go for the Drake. You know how he got the yeah, the little fade underneath the back. Yeah, I don't like that. Okay, yeah. So you want all your hang time? Yeah. Okay, cool. So then we just like the Nipsey. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The nip. It looks good on some people, but I don't like my my braids dangling mid air. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, it's not for me. Braid all the way up here? Yeah, nah. <laughs> and the fade, no. That's, that's like, that's like coming out the at the gate, like hang time. You know what I mean? For those that got the hang time, it's that illusion that I got hang time because it's all the way up on my neck. Exactly. <laughs> Got to get that good rinse. Carrot eye for real. Last time I had this color, I had the waves, and now it's with the curls. But every time I get my hair dyed, I'm like, oh my god, I can't believe my hair is that color. 
mission accomplished because the freckles are insinuated, okay? We're going to see what Yoli thinks when I get to the crib. We're going to get her raw and uncut reaction here in a little while. I'll be home in like an hour or something. But yeah, I'm messing with it. I like the new color. It really takes me a minute to get used to any color that I get. But this one's really bright, I feel like. So I'm going to have to get used to it, used to it for real. You like you it? it's too bright? Yeah. A little bit, but it's it'll, gonna... It'll cool down. Look yeah. her. You like it? Yes. <laughs> hey, baby. Nice one. Mm. Dang, so sorry, Chan. Let me say hi to my guy. <laughs> oh, blood. <laughs> oh, <I'm shy. laughs> All right, yeah. I'm getting used to it. I'm getting used to it. I'm loving it. It's fresh. Thank you, Reach. Shout out to Reach the barber, man. She always holding it down and making sure that I'm looking fresh. And Yoli likes it, so, you know, that's main things right there. Very demure. <laughs> I'm about to pack my bags. We're getting ready to turn up for Yoli's birthday. It's her 37th birthday, y'all. Can you believe it? 37 years old. 37. Only three years shy of 40. Wait, me? <laughs> yeah, you. Very cutesy. Very demure. <laughs> All right, um, about to pack. I'll see y'all later. Was a rough start this morning okay we waited for the bags for i slept i was cranky yoli was cranky everyone was cranky mm -hmm. we have a big day today well mostly yoli has a big day i'm just tagging along <laughs> can we do it is there like a non-dairy version yeah i could do uh i could do like a thai lime tea for you okay or i could do the coffee just no cream i mean it's so it's so good um i think i'll do that I'll do that. The coffee okay. Or even half and half on the side, just so I can do like a dash of it. I'll let you mix it up. Yeah, yeah, because I'm like, I don't want to chance it. Okay, and then um, the Crab Delight. Got it. And then uh, I'll just do the, ooh, uh, I'll do the Pat you. What's your protein? Chicken, please. And then what's your spice level out of five? Three. Middle ground? Yeah, three, gotcha. four is yeah. fine. I'm going to do the yellow chicken curry. What's your spice level? Four. Do you, want, do you want rice with it? Yes. Do you want white, brown, or sticky rice? Yes. Gotcha. And can I get the uh, fried bedrooms on the side? Yeah, yeah, I got you. She's having Thai iced coffee for the first time. She usually does like really sweet coffee. If anything, we're trying to get her like used to the taste of coffee that's not super, super sweet. Thai coffee is already sweet. Yeah, it's already in, like, I got in a little... alignment with what I get. Yeah, and then me, my shit is dark. <laughs> I'm trying to like have less dairy. I have a lot of like IG world friends, I guess, where I'm like, I don't know them. I've never met them, but we talk so often like on DMs or in each other's stories. And we just like, I don't know, fangirl over each other. She's super cool. She's a Latina living in the UK. Anyways, she posted that she started curing her gut health and she started doing this thing where like you eat 30 vegetables a week. And it sounds like a lot, but like different grains count, certain beans count. Um, what else? Fruits count. Like, so it's not like different ones. Yeah. Mm. Like, diversify. The whole point is you have to diversify your, your gut bacteria, right. right? Anyways, all that to say, I'm having black coffee like I used to. Had my iced coffee, got my rice, yellow curry. Oh, yes. Ooh. You want chopsticks? Um, you know what? No. Okay. Thank you. What'd you get? Uh, pet see you. Pet see you. Um, crab rangoon. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay, okay. Finna tear it up. Yeah, okay. Oh man, this looks fire and authentic. Mm. I can really taste the coconut spicy. I picked level four and I got level four. I wanna try that. I've never had it. Ooh, this is hitting. You wanna try it? Uh huh. Mm. Ooh, Bob Curry. Me too. What's good? There it goes. There you go. Oh! <laughs> Got it's good him. though. We 
are on our way to Fleet Feet, where we're getting fitted for some insoles by Super Feet. We got a gift card to get some new shoes. The shoes, I'll be, I mean, I think we're both running in them tomorrow for our run. And then we'll also be using them for our hike in a few days. So, double whammy on that one. Look great. Thanks, babe. All right, y'all, we have arrived at Fleet Feet. About to go get fitted. It's a whole thing. I got my size back there. So I'm gonna have you slip off your shoes and socks. Oh no. I mean, said that you're, you might have to roll up your pants just one oh. more time. Oh my god, I moved in that. The first thing Grace told us to do is not move, and the first thing Yoli does is move. Now I'm standing weird. No, you're good. You okay, better, I'm like, I'm definitely not standing weird. Like you better regular. get it. Okay. Perfect. The next thing I'm gonna have you do is you're gonna walk back and forth. Good job. You, you know, did. Uh uh. We see that you're slew footed. <laughs> you need the deluxe 9000 3D printed. <laughs> Never before seen. No, but definitely have different size feet and decent high arches. You do have slightly different size feet. This is sizing you at. Your left foot is about size 5, and your right foot is about a half size bigger. 5.7. So this is your foot size, not your shoe size. Mm -hmm. We generally size up a half to a full size. Oh, that makes there. Sense. So I would probably put you in like a six and a half. Um, and your feet are on the wider side. 3D printed to your arch profile mm -hmm. with your different on each foot. Your heels are a little bit more narrow than your toe box. Mm -hmm. So your feet are a little bit more triangular shaped. Mm -hmm. um, the, Part that's going to be 3D printed is this plate here. And so oh. that's going to be matched right to your arch. Uh, this is the shoes are also second one. Zero drops. I was going to say, it's not a lot of Oh, this one's cool. Ultra? Ultra. So they like have very, like, but they're so good. I mean, like, they let your toes spread kind of the way it's supposed yeah. to. Yeah. Those might be it. She might like those. This is the last but not least. So I am worried a little bit about the width. Didn't I tell y'all she's probably gonna go with the ultras? <laughs> I already know her. Why do you think? I know those feet. They be in my mouth. Alright y'all, it's my turn. About to get fitted. This is her second time on the runway. Flat booty. And rectangular feet is what I'm gonna say. So based on this, I would probably size you in about size 11. Um, size 11 for women or uh, nine and a half for men. It's about a half, size and a half difference. Um, as far as the width of your feet, you're measuring pretty standard width for a women's shoe. Okay. Um, so we can go ahead and select that. And then you get to personalize your own as well. Nice. Let's get it. Yeah. So, so far the A6. Okay, like. It's not as soft and cushy as the A6, but it's gonna be, there's gonna be a little bit more cushy, but as you know. And it has these nice guide rails on the side, these kind of stripes, and this is that little bit extra foam to help support the side to side. Looks like these are the winners, y'all. Probably go with these right here. The A6 Kayano 31s. They were really cushiony and they felt really supportive to my arches. Nice. Hey. Shout out to my sugar mama. Bag? I'm gonna <laughs> Shout out to her, man. And to my man. <laughs> yeah. To my man. Thank you to my man. <laughs> I'm open the 
let's go. That was a dope little experience. That looks super cute. Shout out Super Feet for hooking it up at Fleet Feet. <laughs> You're really not that chatty. Don't worry, I'm not You're gonna talk really to you. Yoli really thinks I talk too much, y'all. I'm gonna try to be less chatty around here. Yoli's taking me somewhere iconic, apparently. Looks like it. Hello. She knows where to bring me. She likes them, y'all. Answer size. It is delicious. Does that really work? Does anyone know? Little gayness. All right, Nick wants me to tell you it's drip tea. <laughs> Show you what it's called. It's a boba shop Let's concept store. Like they have a huge brick bar, uh, brick bear when you walk in. With the, those are weeds. Not your regular average. Oh, shout out my sugar mama. <laughs> I'd like to shout out my sugar mama. You really gotta. Today. I love it here. I miss it here. You know, I'll make sure to take care of you tonight. Don't you worry. <laughs> you don't have to buy me out. Jeez. <laughs> no, not again. No, not again. Oh, I was like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Uh, are the boys still around? Just for one? Just Paul. Yeah. Not, uh, Not today? There's more. She found mine. That one's mine. This one's supposed yeah. to be hers, but it's fine. How's that lavender oh, one? Oh, sit here. My bad. Oh! <laughs> exactly. Thanks. Ooh, that lavender fire. At first, y'all didn't like boba. It's a weird texture, but it's so yum. Because the texture it make me do that. She a little, she a little uh, sensory overload, this girl. And that's why she ain't got no Oakleys on right now. <laughs> it took me a minute to get used to boba. I ain't gonna hold it. Feeling them slide down my throat and stuff. We should go to that brewery. I was thinking about having people go there, but. We might want to head back to get ready for the night. Yeah. Hey, we're right around the corner. Oh, okay. Y'all knows, y'all. If we're running late, y'all know what's up. Mm -hmm. If we're running late later, y'all heard lavender. it here first. Oh. Jerk. Wow. <laughs> Yo. Wait, no, she lied to y'all. I thought that was lavender. This is taro, but I was like, oh, I thought taro was purple, but. And I was like, yum. It tastes good though, right? Are you sure the stickers ain't on the wrong? Hmm. We got 20% left in the battery. So I'm gonna save it uh, until we really need you. All right, y'all, it's day two in Seattle. We just woke up, as you could tell. Yoli has got a baby hangover. She's, I'm okay. uh, I just need food. Uh, she's depleted. I don't know, we gonna say. She ain't got no energy, not even for YouTube. Sorry, YouTube. Sorry. All right, what well, we have agreed on though is getting biscuits and eggs so i think she's gonna get that but i'm gonna get mine too yo i knew that avocado was gonna smack with it got a little bacon over here you only got the same meal so far so good we about to dig into this my mama raised me right someone spent a bag and it was not me <laughs> um, Nick just bought some really great shoes that she's been eyeing forever she's like I want the Miharas I want the Miharas yes. um, so and uh, no offense but Dallas didn't have them and there's a whole thing so I'm like we definitely have it in Seattle in this one store I used to work at so I took her there they had them on sale but it wasn't the style she wanted and it's just not it 
Then we took her to this other store that's um, another really cute like luxury store. And they had them. They had a really unique color on sale. Only one was her size. And then she got um, the Rick Owens Ramones. Yeah. Um, in the high top. In the leather. Anyways, she got the shoes she wanted. They're gorgeous. Um, she has no room in her luggage though, so she was able to get them shipped, which is awesome. And I would have showed you guys like the entire experience, but as soon as I walked in with the vlog, they were like, no cameras. I was kind of like irritated and grumpy about it when he was like, no cameras, but one, you gotta respect people's like business. And then two, I actually ended up having a really good experience there. So it turned out to be really good. People were really helpful and I got the shoes that I wanted. One hour later. Hi YouTube, I'm alive. Oh, alive and well. That <laughs> was a bug. All right, this is it. What'd you get? I got a hat. I got to wear it on my run. Some insoles. <laughs> by the time we're done. So I forgot to press record just now. <laughs> but how are you doing, babe? Um, good. A little tired, but feeling good. Less good. Rested a little. We got nice views going. Beautiful. Beautiful homes on the hill. We got lost from everyone that was running, so we decided to sightsee for a second. Good job, babe. Y'all, we really got lost on the run. We lost the group, but we just found some people. I was a mess. I was hungover, but I made it through. My stomach was a mess. I still had to run. I had to like entertain, catching up with friends, and then by the time I got home, it was like lights out. So. Right. But it was a great run. Oh my god, amazing. So many people came out. Everyone was really happy, right? Yeah, yeah, they loved it. I think you did something great for the city of Seattle. Oh, that feels really good. Yeah. But I was exhausted. But I feel regular today. I'm back to normal. Good. We're at a Filipino bakery right now, and we got... Filipino chef, but um, East European bakery. So we have a guava and cheese, guava and cream cheese Danish and a beef and potato and cheese breakfast dill bread I don't know there's a surprise inside I make guava basilitos with cream cheese but this is a pastry a puff pastry so it's got the layers I don't got that mine's just a little empanada mm. that's not that good tour of the little Danish. I'm gonna try my cream cheese. Mmm. You know, it take a little second to hit the taste buds, but that is good. It's got the soft crunch combo. Mm. 
Mm. Mm. Not too much powdered sugar on top. Perfection. This place is called Panoishki. If you're in Seattle, stop at Panoishki. Fire. All right, we have a little bit of time to kill. So Yoli brought me here to the Amazon Spheres. But we can't go in because you need to book a tour or whatever. But it's still nice. So far, Seattle's a real cool place, so I like it. Getting the Seattle vibes, it's nice. It's a very interesting place. What you eating first? Well, never mind. No show us. It's sweet. You want one? No. No, for real. No, I used to eat them when I was a kid. I believe you. <sighs> you see how I pick wild berries? Very, <coughs> very demure, very sustainable, very sweet. They're in peak season right now. It says Suquamish Falls is a place of spiritual importance to the Suquamish people, also called the people of the moon. And then this picture is Puget Sound women drying salmon. Wow, very cool. <gasps> oh my gosh, I can't see it real good right here. Thank you for bringing me there. So nice. It's so nice. It is, huh? Yeah. Y'all, we just passed a sign that said, be cougar and bear aware. I forgot to show y'all the sign, but if you see me doing this, that's what I'm doing. Being cougar and bear away. Anyways, we're on another Yoli adventure. It's my favorite thing to look for like funny looking mushrooms and slugs. I found some crazy slugs. Oh, very cool fungi. Oh my god, I bet people go over here and take pictures, Yoli. If you wanna. This ain't gonna move. It ain't gonna move. <laughs> Yoli said, nah. Well, it's best practice to stay on the trail and not to go off the trail because then, like, imagine if everyone started doing that, now you're changing the nature is. Now things aren't growing. It's getting now, dirty, right. Yeah, now um, the roots and everything isn't, like, growing the way it's supposed to. Now animals are going to be there. Like, the parks do their best to give humans places They're to They're spaced. And not respect nature to be its nature space. You know what I mean? Like it's just, right. I don't play that. I love that about you. Yeah. Thank you, baby. These do not feed animals. Be cougar and bear aware. We. So we have a little downtime before we get to our cabin. From dawn to dusk. Anyways, uh, we have some time to kill, so we're like exploring in Salakwami. The trees here are humongous. It's very beautiful. All right, we are on our way to the brewery. I put on my little flannel because I am camping Yoli now. I'm one with the woods. Next time you see me, I'll have different shoes on. I won't have the Romero's. I'll have like <laughs> real crunchy ones. And this, is how, and this is how it begins. And this is how it goes. And it's got views off into the river that we were just exploring. We got the wings and a Sequalami burger with garlic fries. Cheers, man. She's back. She's back. She's ready. And those look like they smack. I'm about to try. <laughs> Dahlias are her favorite flower and she saw the dahlia sign and that's all she needed to see literally swerved into here I had to brace myself <laughs> Y'all I could literally smell the flowers right here. It's crazy. We're gonna start right here with sunflowers yeah, Every winter we gotta dig all this up <gasps> no. Really? Oh, God, so many. Yeah, we dig them up and then we store them and then we replant them again So a dahlia is it looks like a sweet potato So you dig them up and what you do is you cut the mother bulb off and then the mother bulb will grow like four separate tubers on there, there'll be four plants. Oh. Yeah, yeah, so if you don't dig them up, what happens is that, like during the winter time when it gets too cold, they'll start rotting. Oh. And then you wow. lose like 40 years worth of like, Damn. yeah, plants. <laughs> wow, Yoli found a few. 
I have more than I can grab. She's overwhelmed right, with joy. Honestly, I can never find dahlias like to order or like I can't send her it's dahlias. Just not the same. No. Yeah, so like I'm so glad that they're here. You definitely don't find them in Texas. And if you do it's know of them in Texas, let me know because I've never found one that I could even just buy Yoli. We're searching for Nick. <laughs> Y'all just missed Nick, first of all, going on a crazy ramble about how this is non-black activities. And I told her she better be a good sport coming out here. And then she went on another ramble about the beer. And then she just tweaked because like a bug touched her face. This is y'all's king. <laughs> Rainier beer. Seattle's beer. Washington's beer. Good morning. Happy birthday, Yoli. Whoa. <laughs> Um, it's my birthday, very exciting. It is August 17th, but we've got on three, four, five layers on because it's 50 degrees out here in Washington State. Wow. It's warmed up to 64 degrees now, and it'll warm up to 80. So we have to have layers because, like, when we get hot, we gotta take the layers off, and then when we get cold or in the shaded spot, we gotta put the layers back on. But I spent, I literally didn't go to sleep until like 1 a.m. almost. Right like looking at different trails and different mountains and trying to figure out which would make the most sense for us to go to. I messed up because I didn't bring like a backpack. And like you need like a day pack for these kind of hikes because you're out for like five hours at least and you're moving the whole time, you're exhausted. So I messed up by not bringing that. Um, so we're going to a shorter hike, but it's still got some altitude, some elevation. Um, if I got any hikers out there, so it's got decent elevation. I think we go up a thousand feet in elevation, so that's a lot. Um, it's a little steep. It'll be a little workout, and it's alongside a waterfall for most of it. And a lot of the reviews were saying that it's like one of the best waterfall hikes they've ever been to. So I'm really excited about that. And that one's only 20 minutes away from where we're staying at. The one other one that I've always wanted to go to is Lake um, Colchuck Lake, and that one's an hour and 15 minutes away. And it would have been an eight mile hike, eight and a half, if not a little more probably. Ain't no way. I know, no there is a way, I mean I have to do it, it's like in my bucket list. But we couldn't have done that with no backpack, limited water, like that's just like really responsible. So, happy with our choice. If we have any energy left, we're gonna then, after our, our hike, go drive to Leavenworth which I love and then like bop around there for a second I'll show Nick like one of my favorite pizzerias over there and breweries and we'll look around at the mountains you're like in a little city in between the mountains it's literally beautiful and then we'll head back and then do hot tub very chill day for a birthday I mean when Yoli said she liked to be outdoors I didn't know I was signing up for this what you think it was a little two mile high it's cute you don't get to, you won't see nothing with two miles. You want to see the good stuff. I know, I know. Honestly, I enjoy just the drive. The drive is literally like I half of the fun. Look at my hot Uber driver. She could not stop talking about how good the world looks like with her Oakley's on. Oh man. Oh, and more mountains. All right, y'all. We made it. Finally, we just found parking. Parking was an actual shit show, to be honest, but we found it. We found one, and now we're walking up to the trail access point. There's like two access points, one for Lake Serene and one for Bridal Falls, and right now we're going to Bridal Falls, so we'll see. Yeah. So they're saying there's an old trail, and then there's a new trail. Shit. Let's keep on the old. What you mean? Oh, yeah, they say do the old because the new one has switchbacks that's like newer, but it's a lot more busier. The background is crazy, y'all. Look at that. Sheesh. Here we go. Here we go. If y'all know, y'all know. I'm following Yoli. Oh my God, I got to hop this creek. Oh, we made it. And we got on our new shoes from Fleet Feet. Yep. And insoles. And insoles, yep. It's like, oh, yeah, sure. I had to do no 
I was like, <laughs> <laughs> it's hot. Yes, the Shirts off. It's hot. Got my got my shoulder showing. You know, I'm working on it, guys. Yeah, it's getting a little risque. All right. Either Lake Serene or Bridal Veil vale Falls. We're gonna go one and a half to Bridal. And maybe if we're filling up to bar, we'll go to Serene. Maybe. As I got three beers. That's hard. Heavy on the maybe. Just when you <laughs> thought it was over. Here we are. I ain't hitting the gym for three days. I'll tell you right now. Leg day has commenced. Looks like we made it to one part of the waterfall. Oh. Oh. Nice. Amazing, actually. Beautiful. Yeah, we made it finally. We're all the way up. And it feels amazing. It smells amazing. It's just, it was well Iconic. worth it. Iconic. It was well worth the hike. Well worth it. All right, y'all, we're going down now. We got two miles down. And the struggle is a little bit real. You got to kind of be a little more careful going down. Because obviously you're going faster and it just don't hit the same like going up. I don't know. Going up is a workout, but going down is like... Life or death. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. You got to watch your footing differently. Straight up. Like if you step wrong, you done for. There goes your ankle. Now you Sally took a tumble. Yeah. Yeah, could use one of them Where's Waldo sticks for real. We're about done, guys. I think we're already at the part where it was hella easy. So easy, now that you know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this was a great birthday gift to Yoli from Mother Nature. Yes. I love, love, love being outside for the birthday. So we're going to like a German town out here, also in the mountains that Yoli wants to go have pizza at because she's been here before. This ain't her first rodeo, okay? So we got to go see what is in Leavenworth. And apparently it's real cute. It's so cute. Real cutesy, real demure, you know? We made it. This is Nick. <laughs> Nick. <laughs> Here's the pizza we ordered. I had the hardest time trying to figure out what the hell happened. They remodeled since the last time I came here. So I walk in, I'm like, this looks like the place, but it doesn't. And I look at the menu, and I, last I came here with my parents, and my dad's a picky eater. And I'm like, he would not have ordered any of these pizzas. I'm like, something's wrong. But this is the spot. All right, first bite. It's got Italian sausage. Um, prosciutto and so something good. else. We're happily full. I think so. Not too full. Oh, I'm so sorry. That would be a bad thing, like five. I'm gonna stop. Huh. We will vlog later when we're not in a tight quarters. Alright y'all, so we just left uh, Leavenworth. Leavenworth. I'll be forgetting the name because it looks like a uh, freaking, I don't know, it looks like a German town and that's all I can call it. Anyways, we're headed back to the Airbnb and yeah, I'll see y'all when we get there. If, if y'all see me, we might just close out the vlog now because we're probably going to be chilling, relaxing, trying to take it all in and spend these last moments here. Um, and just be alone, you know, alone time for Yoli's birthday. You know what that means. Here you go. <laughs> it was coming. All right, YouTube. We'll see y'all in the next vlog. Peace.